Today, I want to just show you how I read and consume my books. It might be of interest to some people out there, but I, I suppose I've got a quirky little nature of how I, you know, read. So I thought I might share that with you. So yes, hello and welcome to Starship Subas HQ. Today, going to look at say just a little chat about how I read books. And I might be like most people out there, or I might be just, you know, there might just be me kind of does it in this kind of style. But it'd be nice as well, you know, if you kind of leave some notes below there, just how to use, you know, consume your, your, your fiction, your science fiction, you know, how to use read it. Well, when I first started off, you know what I mean, like say it was just books, and books were all, you know, all encompassing for us, you know, and I had this journey and it was actually on a bus, and I think it was about an hour's journey there, an hour's journey back. And that's when, in my kind of youth, I kind of just gobbled up the, the kind of the fiction that I loved. Books now, though, just don't seem to, you know, I've got to, like I say, I, I get them now just purely to keep them, you know, keep us next to them. I don't, I don't enjoy reading a book now. It's just, it's something that, it's lost its appeal. And that's a kind of strange thing, do you know what I mean? I just, books that are by our very nature but you know like since technology's come along since the kind of smartphones come along it's all you know digital format for me so in a way I love books and like I say there's just so many there do you know what I mean and how sometimes you know I've got to kind of sometimes get rid of them yes that's kind of but you know it's given the libraries given the you know farm them out to people because I just don't have the room now for books and it's my worst possible way to kind of consume a story I can't even think of the last story I read that was in paperback. Yeah, I might pick up the odd, you know, diet book or cookery book, something like that. That might be, you know, in, in printed format, but that, that's it, you know. So I think out of them all, paperback books, you know, hardback books, whatever, does not appeal to me at all now. The next one, where I kind of, you know, 2006 is where kind of Starship sort of kicked off, you know, with the podcasts. And all your fiction has to be kind of up there. You know, it's just so easy to kind of listen. Listen in places as well where you would never listen. Do you know what I mean? Cutting the grass, driving to work. There's all these places where you can kind of just consume the kind of the fiction out there. And it's if you get a good narrator as well, that's the, the key. You know what I mean? A good writer and a good narrator. And you're just, you're just in this world and... I get this so many times, mind you, I still get the emails now saying, you know, that people listen to stories and just carried on driving in the car until they got to the end. They went round the block a couple of times just to get to the end. And that's not just the skill of a writer, that's the skill of a narrator as well. And that's, you know, I, I use, like a, 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 a call a, a one plus one phone. And I've left as well, I've left the kind of Apple kind of stable there. I, I've finished with them. And I'm on the kind of Android system there now. And it works just amazing. I use Audible. I get my books from Audible. And if there's anything like, say, stories that I have to listen to for the show narrations, I use like a simple player on, you know, from the kind of Google shop as well and listen to it that way. And like I say, there's no, for me, you know, it, it just enriches everything. When you, sometimes it doesn't work. You know what I mean? Sometimes even professional, you know, like, books that are in audible you, you get a narrator and you think that's just not it's just not kind of marrying up it just doesn't sit right and it just it's sometimes a bit of a drag to get you know to kind of get through that that story i think as well for me mind you you know since i've got a kindle you know and i, I don't know what to be quite honest it is one of these kind of colored kindles there and just being able to kind of you know, even, you know, jumping the gun, even going into shops doesn't really now appeal to us, you know, because bookshops, that have no kind of sense of kind of going back home to the kind of the books and being surrounded by them. I've lost all that. So, for me, the, the idea of being able to kind of buy a book anywhere, do you know what I mean, just spur of the moment, you know, is, is perfect. And I, I'm reading stuff now that I would never consider, you know, before, purely because... You can buy it, sit and watch in a television program. You can get a book and download it and it's there in seconds and you can just start it. Do you know what I mean? So I think, 
you know, Kindles for me now have come a long, long way. You know, I did have, I've had a few Kindles, but these coloured ones where, you know, you kind of get your books on there. And it's just nice. What, what I find as well is my book collection is now important to me on the Kindle. Yes, I had once had a room that was kind of wall to wall shelves of books, and, but that's all long gone. Now they're all on my Kindle and it's, you know what I mean, it's just kind of lovely to kind of have that that feeling, do you know what I mean? I've just been able to kind of dip into the book there at any time and just read it. And then if I pick up another device in my phone, it's kind of synced, you know? It's just a perfect format. And like I say, I'm purely, you know, on the kind of the Amazon kind of platform there. And it's, you know, the Kindle format that I love. I don't really try anything else. I don't want to kind of go down any other route. I'm quite happy with the Amazon format, do you know what I mean? And yes, I'll certainly, you know, and the way I kind of buy as well is quite, you know, I'll buy a lot of these kind of 99 cents ones and I'll buy a lot of kind of, you know, the, the Masterworks ones, which are kind of roughly around about four pound, something like that. When I get to an ebook price, that's touching seven pound, maybe beyond, you're losing me there because I'm just not going to pay that kind of money. You know what I mean? There's so much out there anyways. I can kind of, maybe a year's time, it might be a bit cheaper anyways, but there's certainly... There's not enough hours in the day to kind of all the books that I want to read out there. So maybe I'll just kind of skip it. So for me personally, I don't like to pay anything over kind of seven, eight pounds for an e-book, especially. Yes, in them kind of heady days of the hardback books when I was getting them, you know, but it was a treat. Do you know what I mean? The, the way I'm kind of buying now, it's not, it's not like a treat. It's just like a, it's a pound, I'll get it. Do you know what I mean? It's just like, it's a half a lager, you know? So I buy it that way. But I think... My favourite way, you know, to consume is a mixture of, you know, the Kindle and the audio. You know, and Amazon does this great, this kind of whisper sync. You buy the, and what I found is, if you buy the ebook, sometimes you get like a little notice saying, you know, for just an extra three pounds, you can get the audio version as well. Well, if you went to say Audible by itself and just bought, the, you know, if you weren't in the kind of club and you got your three points, which I'm not, if you went in and just bought it, you know. You're probably talking 15, 16 pounds, you know, for that kind of same audiobook. Where if you get the little, you know, 149 Kindle copy, then you buy the audio. It's just a perfect match. And this is got to be my number one weird experience fiction now is getting up in the morning, listening to audio, listening to that audio story, you know, like going out in the car, driving there, have a little, say, a half hour lunch break, something like that pick the book up and read it in the kind of, in my own little world, the silence there. Go back, come home, listen on the way home. Just probably about 70% of my idea there now is taken up just in other worlds, you know, just kind of listen to the stories. If them writers get it right, you know, and them narrators get it right, that's it. I'm gone and I'm lost. And that's all, you know, it's a comfort thing for me. It's just it's just a pure experience to be in someone else's imagination, you know, and, and walking through the kind of the visions and the vistas they've set up, you know, like describing. Sometimes <laughs> you see when you, you walk in there and you kind of, you know, you've been to all this and to all that. That's how it looks. That's how it, you know, it doesn't work. But that's just, you know, good writers and bad writers. But that's my number one way to kind of consume stories there now is a mixture. is this whisper sync where it's audio and ebook format. Ebooks are great, you know what I mean? I can, yes, I have to put glasses on, but with this now you just kind of bump up that kind of font. And, and like I say, collection wise, do I miss the paperback? You know, I, I hark it and look back to it, and the covers are great, I love the covers, but just as important now as me, you know, me kind of ebook collection. So let us know what you think. You know, do, do you use kind of just instantly buy, buy, buy. Because what I do as well is I buy all these books, you know, spur of the moment. And then they just kept on the Kindle, kept on my phone for months down the line. You know, I might not even look at them for a year. Then I'm just kind of, all oh, right, oh yes, well that will fit in with that. And I'll just, you know, something will come along and then it just gets wolfed down in a single probably sitting sometimes. Where sometimes in the kind of olden days, did I used to buy a book and then read it straight away? Possibly more so then but now i love just to kind of you know get i'll get this book i'll get that book and i mean i'll tell you how you know eclectic my reading is i'm reading at this moment 
I'm listening to Rendezvous with Rama by Arthur C. Clarke. I'm halfway through that. That's for another show coming up. I'm listening to Nexus by Ramiz. I forget his surname there. But I'm listening to that one as well. I'm on the Kindle. I'm reading James Cook, Captain Cook's first voyage. You know, his kind of diary notes. I'm reading that. I'm reading about... British Empire, the rise and fall of the British Empire in kind of South Africa and everything in the, well, just the whole British Empire rise and fall. I recently watched Griffiths Jones, a slow train through Africa and, you know, the kind of the British Empire trying to build these railway lines and, you know, you're getting the Chinese coming in there in the 70s and building railway lines. So I've started that as well. And like, that's how I read all the time. I don't read one single book, do you know what I mean? Because there's different formats, for, you know, there's different horses for different courses. So I'm always got about three or four on the go. You know, it's basically it's most times I've got one main audio and one ebook, but it, it varies. You know, when something kind of captures us, I just want to get a hold of it, you know, and kind of, especially like say the British Empire one, you know, the rise and fall of this great British nation. I'm reading that at the moment. So that's how I consume books. How do you do it? Please let us know. Comments below. Until next week, I would just like to say goodbye from me. I hope you enjoyed that show. Please think about subscribing. You will get the shows each and every time I release them. And why not check out the videos? Worst science fiction books I have ever picked. Oh, they're there. Check it out. And while you're on, Subscribe to the newsletter. You get Starship Subas Volume 1 free. Fantastic writers in there. Just sign up for the newsletter and you'll get that.